want to be insa in Korea, if you don't want to be asa, do not miss this video. Swag! Anyway, say yo, this is Gadulimida. I started with some swag today because today I'm gonna teach you top five most known Korean buzzwords to be insa. Wow. Okay then, first of all, what do you think insa and asa are? Insa came from English word insider and now as you can guess, asa came from outsider. But the meaning is more than that. Insa is someone who gets along very very well with lots of people and follows and knows all the trends. They are usually very very cool. On the other hand, asa, asa is the opposite. So asa, they are usually alone. It's a bit sad, but it doesn't mean always bad. You know, it can be someone who likes to be alone and they usually don't know the trend and what's going on in the world. <laughs> or they don't care. If you want to be the best insa, then you can call yourself Heck insa. Heck insa. Heck means nuclear. You know, nuclear is the best, the biggest, the strongest, the. Okay, second one is Aje. Aje. So Aje came from Ajoshi. Ajoshi. Which is middle aged or married man. So if you are behind about trend, or if you have a taste of ajasi, you will be called aje. For example, if your style is very old-fashioned, people will call you, oh, aje fashion ya, aje fashion ya. Or if you like some food that usually old people like, for example, you prefer rice than pizza or hamburger, or you need kimchi all the time, then people will say, No, 아재 입맛이야. No, 아재 입맛이야. You have an 아재 taste. <laughs> and third one is JMT, which is an abbreviation of 존 맛탱. 존 맛탱. It sounds funny and cute. I think each letter stands for so, Jun from Junna, which means fucking. It's a kind of slang that we use for very. Uh, actually, it is used a lot among young generations. I mean, old people too. But you should know it doesn't really sound good like fucking. So, you have to be careful. You can use it only with really, really close friends. And mat stands for 맛있는, 맛있는. That means delicious. Lastly, tang is just added to make it sound more funny or cute. But JMT is usually used in writing, like in texting. And in speaking, we say 존맛탱. For example, 이 라면 존맛탱이야. 이 김치 존맛탱이야. And fourth, 존버. 존버, which stands for 존나 버티다. You know, I explained 존나 already means fucking, and 버티다 literally means hold out or endure. Actually, this word came from games. So it means hold out or survive until only one winner lasts. But we use it just, you know, in normal life too. For example, if you work overtime at work, your friend will say to you, 존버해라, 존버해라, means more like hold out and hang in there. And lastly, 아아, 아아. Does anybody know this? This is ice americano. No more explain. Okay, my lesson for today is done. Here is summary. I'm gonna repeat two times. Repeat after me. First, insa, insa, and asa, asa, and hek insa, hek insa. 
Second, 아재, 아재. Third, in writing, JMT. In speaking, 존맛탱, 존맛탱. Fourth, 존버, 존버. Fifth, 아아, 아아. Okay, thank you for watching my video today. I'm gonna come back with Hagen s a w a r s Part 2. If you enjoyed my video, please 구독, 좋아요, and 댓글 부탁해요. 그럼 안녕! Swag!